what if we move it on to the next one? This one, the right hand, it's okay. Basically, left hand chords every two beats. And then I'm sure I'm in B and D sharp. Which makes you confusing because you have to shift the fingering fast. So it's up to you. You can practice left hand first. And then add it both hands together. Or you can start from the beginning. Slow. Both hands together. That's fine. Now let's see both in together, the chord part. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Left hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here, now the right hand, when you play it, Use finger number two one one instead of one two two. Got it? Because in here we don't use this fingering because this E and C chord is more important than D sharp and E. So to play a chord clear, that's better way. So in this point, you have to use finger number two instead of one. Got it? That's really important. Then if we move it on to the next part, an A. without a mistake. Got it? Now just keep moving. Right and F and left and B. So it goes F, B. And here, your right hand can play it. Finger number one with black key. That should be fine because we have just A sharp, B, D. Just, you know, this is kind of easy fingering. So it should be okay. One, one count everything. And right hand D and left hand goes to A. Two, three, four. And left hand G. Right hand C. 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 And then left hand go to F. Two. And then right hand lift it and go to the F with the finger number three. 
so here you have to switch to fingering again. Whenever you see dotted rhythm, count it as one, two, three, four. Subdivide the beat. Got it? One, two, three, four. And then move it on. Flat. Two. And then E. So you will stretch far. If you can connect, try to connect. But if you have a small hand, that's fine. You can just leave and play. It's okay, you should be fine. Then one right hand is a C, left hand is on F. Here is another fingering two. Left hand finger number four, right hand three. And same the right hand plays four. Left hand goes down to five. Apart. So we'll be and 
Then again, one more is smaller. The bottom note stays all the way through, but top is moving down. And then next to note is A and C, and let them go to A. Retardando. Retardando means you will gradually slowing down. Sounds like dying out, disappearing, or like ending. Then, so that's what we can slow down. One, two. And then the next note is one, two, right hand only. And then after that, both hand comes back again. A flat, right hand, and left hand is. G which makes hard to count. So just practice the rhythm with one, two, three, four, subdivide a bit, then it should be easier. And then another technique is octave playing. If you just put in the hands as a sad, practice the part a couple of times in slow tempo, then add it both in together. Now, here is practice tip. When you practice, first practice left hand because the left hand has a lot of jump within a chord. And then there is many fingering changes like a left hand from C chord to E minor chord but moving on to the B. And then there is also changing chord positions. So practice left hand by yourself. And then when you can play it well, then add it both in together and practice page by page or part by part, I can say it. So practice first the part and when you can play it well, then move it onto the second page and move it onto the third page. Try not to practice whole entire song from the beginning. And also when you play pedal, change every measure basically. So every measure, push down, Lift it up and push down. Lift it up and push down. Lift it up and push down. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. So practice pattern with left hand only by itself. And then when you can play it well, play both hands together. Try not to add a pedal from the beginning. That's really hard. So practice left hand, practice both hand, and then practice left hand with the pedal. And then add it both in together. Got it? Then it should be easier. With this song, I want you to learn the syncopated rhythm and how to play it octaves well. And I hope you enjoy playing the song. And I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>